Hello and welcome to this video where I will be showing you how you can do image switching and what you can use it for. So I've already loaded up this project here that I've been working on. I'm just going to switch into animate mode and I'll show you uh, how things are set up here. So when I scrub the timeline you can see if you notice the foot here that it's bending to to fit the uh, the ground uh, bending the foot and also the bands behind the head here are kind of waving behind him and we also have the second thing going on for the left foot here so I'm just going to remove the keys that I have set up on this one and I'll do it over again so you can see how it's done so I'm just going to zoom in a bit and expand the right foot and the slot and you can see there are four images on uh, this slot and the first one has already been keyed to be the uh, the right foot side where you can see there is a uh, visibility dot uh, active on that one. So I'm just going to scrub the timeline and go to the frame where I want to actually change it. And I can see at frame 6 it's protruding through the floor. So I'm going to change it, the image to this one instead and hit the visibility dot key here. And now we have a key set on the timeline. If I go to say two frames more Set, uh, select the other image here, make that visible and key that as well. Now we have the image actually changing over time and then I'm just gonna quickly do it the other way around so and there we go and now I have the foot bending just like I want it and I'm just gonna quickly show you the hood ends how they are set up. They have a few more images but once I uh, scrub the timeline you can see there's a lot more keys here and you can see the visibility dot here is, is changing quite a lot to get that uh, effect of uh, uh, them you know following around uh, the the gravity and you know looking flowing uh, really nicely. So I hope this is useful and stay tuned for more videos coming out soon.